Hey everybody, welcome back to Kelly Barlow Creations. Today's video, I am bringing to you a farmhouse Valentine's Day DIY that is so chic, I can hardly stand it. I'll also be bringing to you two additional two minute Dollar Tree DIYs that you are not gonna wanna miss. One for Valentine's Day and one for St. Patrick's Day. So let's jump into it. I'm gonna start off by taking this heart Valentine's Day sign that I picked up from the 99 cent store. Dollar Tree has ones that are very similar. I had just picked this up at the 99 cent store, so it's what I'm using. I'll also be using two pieces of scrapbooking paper that I got at Michael's for about 30 cents a piece. And I'm gonna cut the two 12 by 12 pieces of scrapbooking paper into three sections. I'm not gonna measure because it really doesn't matter just by cutting them into three strips, it's gonna make covering this heart a lot easier. Using this spray adhesive by Scotch, I picked this up at Michael's for $2.99. I'm gonna spray it on the sign itself, then apply my paper. And this is where the strips comes in handy because of the shape of the heart. So I'm getting the most out of my scrapbooking paper. And I'm gonna line up my paper the best I can so the pattern matches worry too much about being perfect with the paper. Really, we're just using the paper to cover up the purple sign, give it that farmhouse look. An alternative to the scrapbooking paper would be contact paper from the Dollar Tree. They've got a real nice wood one. To cut off the excess scrapbooking paper, I'm going with an X-Acto knife with a fresh blade on it. I'm comfortable using this. It seemed to be the easier choice to me rather than the scissors because of the shape of the outside of the heart. And so using a cutting board underneath it, I feel pretty safe because it's not gonna slip and it's not really cutting into anything that it's gonna ruin. Just take your time and that way you've got nice clean edges. And if you're one who wants to finish the back off by either using scrapbooking paper, spray paint, or painting over the back, you totally can. I'm gonna leave it the way it is because it's really not gonna show. And there you can't even tell that we did a bunch of patchwork on this heart and it looks amazing. At the top of the sign, there's a hole for the hanger and so using my X-Acto knife, I'm just gonna cut through the paper. For this pink styrofoam heart, I'll be using Waverly's chalk paint in the color of ivory to paint it. If you have apple barrel paint, you can use that. I'm just using what I have on hand to cut down on cost. I'm gonna give this a quick coat just to cover up the pink. Once my heart is dry, I'll be using the boas that you can find at the Dollar Tree to wrap the heart with. That was basically why I painted the heart, so that way, if the boa doesn't completely cover the heart, the pink isn't showing through and standing out. And it's going to be less noticeable because we painted it basically the same color as the boa. Once I've got my heart wrapped with the boa, I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to trim off a lot of the flyaways and the wild feathers just to make it look a bit neater and groomed. I found these plastic love glasses at the 99 cent store. I'm gonna remove the sides of the glasses because I'll just be utilizing the plastic part that says love. And to paint this, I will be using Waverly's chalk paint in the color of truffle. This is a nice, deep, rich brown. Just what I was looking for because I really wanted this to stand out. And for the hanger for this sign, I will be using some of the twine that you can get at Dollar Tree and I'm gonna double up my string just to make it a bit thicker. And using some hot glue, I'm gonna use a generous amount of hot glue for this. Then I'm gonna place this heart in the center of my wood sign. I like to keep a can of aerosol hairspray on hand for DIYs like this, where you're using feathers and they tend to maybe fall off a bit. If you spray a generous amount of hairspray on this, one, it doesn't ruin the look of the feathers, and two, it really does help from making a mess and your feathers falling off. Now that I've got my feathers taken care of, I'm gonna hot glue my plastic love sign to the center of this heart. 
And this would not be one of my farmhouse DIYs without either a twine flower or a twine bow. If you haven't seen that tutorial on how I make my twine flowers, I'll leave the link to that video in the description box below. And there we have it. This is stinking adorable. I love the look of this. Even though we're using the boa with the feathers, this still turned out so farmhouse chic. I love the look of it and it's something a bit different than the traditional red and pinks that you see around this time of year for Valentine's Day. For this next Dollar Tree two minute DIY, I picked up two of these Valentine's Day heart sign decor pieces. I picked up two different sayings to the moon and back and follow your heart. Using some of Aileen's tacky glue on the back side of this heart sign, I'm going to place some of this glue along the edges, but I'm not going to go too close to the edge of the sign. I'm going to go about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch from the edge of the sign. And I'm going to place this glue kind of on all of the edges that are visible. Then taking my second sign, I'm going to place it directly on top, making this sign a two-sided sign. Now this only works when the signs measure up exactly the same when you place them back to back. To hang this sign again, I will be using some of Dollar Tree's twine. I needed the string to be a bit longer than the ribbon that was on it before because I will be hanging this sign from my wood sign hanger. If you haven't seen that tutorial, I will link that in the description box below. It's a really fun way to display signs for each of the holidays or seasons in the year. Just a quick tip, if you tie a knot where your twine is here at the top of the heart, it'll allow your sign to hang side to side instead of rotating. What's fun about these wood sign hangers is that if you put it in a spot in your house where you can see your sign from both sides, you've got yourself a double-sided sign hanger, which I love. You can see your sign from each side and there's not a side that's a bad side. And because Dollar Tree already has their St. Patrick's Day decor out, I decided to make one for St. Patrick's Day as well. And the signs that they had out this season, none of them seemed to match up as well as this one did. So that was why I picked this one up. And even this sign, the signs didn't measure up perfectly right along the brim of the hat. And so just taking my Sharpie, I'm going to fill it in and you won't even notice that it didn't line up perfectly. Because I had some of this leftover green twine from Christmas and it goes perfectly for St. Patrick's Day, that's what I'll be using to hang this sign up with. <laughs> that's not going to work. It's really a little too short. A little too short. Oops. Well, everybody, that's all I have for you for today. I hope you enjoyed today's DIYs. Make sure to stay tuned for next week where I bring you two more amazing Farmhouse Valentine's Day DIYs that you're not going to want to miss. Please give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to 3,000 likes because those thumbs up, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget and bye for now, everybody.